welcome to a bit of a different sticker kitten craft video. My name's James and I do the artwork for Sticker Kitten. Um, I'm not great with crafting, um, but what I do have is a little bit of experience in photography. So I thought I'd share some of that knowledge with you. One of the things that I see a lot of people mention is that they find it really difficult to take photos of their craft projects. And I think a lot of that has got to, to do with uh, lighting and the equipment and how they're using the equipment. So I thought I'd try and give you a little bit of an idea of what I use and how we take our photos. So the first thing I think is probably worth mentioning would be um, ISO. ISO on a digital camera is the camera's sensitivity to light. The darker the room is, the higher your camera's ISO will have to go to compensate for the lack of light. The only problem with that is the higher the ISO number, generally the more grainy your image will be. So if you get um, if you're taking a photo in the dark as opposed to a photo in a light room, your image could be quite grainy and kind of a bit out of focus. Obviously the easiest way to get a low ISO is to have as much light coming in as possible. The next issue I wanted to talk about was uh, colour temperature, is the colour of the light. So for example, natural bright daylight, that colour temperature is around 5000 K whereas your standard energy saving bulb will be about 3000K. So what we've got here is, this is a standard desk lamp. Um, this is producing uh, the 3000 range light uh, that I was talking about before. So this is like um, an orangey yellow light. And if we shine that onto a card, you can quite clearly see that the card is uh, bathed in quite a warm uh, yellowy light. So here's a bright 5500K lamp into a slightly see-through uh, white umbrella, and this is letting the light go through it, but it's diffusing the light out instead of having the light centered on a point. So here's the difference. It's a much brighter white light. This is more of a daylight. So in the picture that we've got set up here, we've got light coming in from the left side and light coming in from the right side. And this is hitting all around the uh, craft project and sort of lighting it evenly. Now, if I was to turn any one of these off, I'll turn the right one off. As you can see, we've now got a dark spot on the right hand side. Same thing for the other side. If I turn that off, we've got a shadow on the left hand side. Now, if I was to shove light at the front instead of the sides, got a light front but we also have a bit of a shadowed back so again this is to do with diffuse light and how the light is hitting the objects we've got the light hitting the object from the front and it's shadowing out the back of the image so ideally what we want to do is have light coming in from the sides to sort of make it more well lit again turn the back on and we have tons of light again so thank you for watching uh, if you want to see more like and subscribe and I'll see you later